You're listening to Just My Show, your number one source for pop culture. So you come into the show, uh, a pretty experienced actor. Shirley Jones is, of course, already a star. Some of the cast, oh, yes. some some of the cast hadn't done so much acting before, especially the younger ones. How'd that work? Most out? of them hadn't. I, Susan Day hadn't. Uh, David Cassidy had done very little. Danny uh, had done some commercials, but that's all he had ever done. And the two younger ones, I don't think, ever did anything. So clearly, uh, a lot of off-camera things to to talk about with the show. But first, let's let's talk about the actual show for a second. Uh, you know, one of the best things, of course, about the show is the interaction uh, with you and Danny. You know, comment for a second on the the on-camera chemistry that you guys had and how quickly that came. Well, uh, I guess it developed slowly, but as far as uh, Danny and I are concerned, we uh, we got to be pretty good friends, and he used to come out to the beach house on weekends and hang out, and uh, we just got to be friends off uh, off camera as well as on, so, uh, well, not so much on, come to think of it. Uh, we were sort of adversaries on camera, but good friends off camera. And I want to talk about that more uh, a bit later, but I want to ask you this now. Do With all the off-camera stuff that people sort of focus on, do you think people sometimes forget just how good he was on the show as an actor? Well, he was... Uh, I hadn't worked with very many child actors, but I thought he was pretty good. Uh, uh, the film editor makes you sometimes better than you really are, and I think that's true with adults as well as, uh, as, well as uh, child actors. But... Uh, but I, I I had no no problem with Danny as an actor. He, he did fine, did amazingly well actually for the amount of work uh, words he was given to say every week. Let's talk about the music for a second. Obviously, you know, music a big part of the show. How important mm-hmm. was were the actual songs? You know, did did the show drive the album sales, or did the fact that people liked the music make the show more popular, or did it sort of work both ways? I guess it worked both ways. To be honest with you, I, I don't know for sure. Uh, I know that uh, I think they had three three of their albums sold over a million copies, but um, and I'm sure that the TV show had something to do with the selling of the albums. There's, you know, obviously a lot of talk about the fact that most of the cast didn't really sing. Um, how, how much of an issue was that for, you know, David aside, because originally he didn't, and then he did sing for most of the series, did the rest of the cast really care one way or the other? The fact that the cast did not sing was one of the great blessings of the show. Uh, Danny couldn't sing, for heaven's sake. The two little ones uh, had no musical talent whatsoever. Susan Day had never sung. The only people that had ever sung prior to that show is David Cassidy and, uh, and Shirley Jones. Even I worked as a folk singer in my early years, so I had done some singing, but they... They wouldn't let me snap my fingers on that show. I couldn't do anything. Uh, do, you, do you have a favorite episode of uh, of the of the four seasons? Uh, well, I like any episode where we got out of the house. You know, those episodes that took place in the in the dining room, the living room, and the garage were really kind of boring. I thought. Uh, I like the episode where we went to a prison to entertain and got quarantined. That was kind of fun and unusual. Uh, I like the dream sequence show where we went out into the Old West. I got to play a gunfighter, and Danny was a gunfighter. And that was because that was getting away from the from the character and doing something different. And those are always more fun than than just the regular show. One thing that you know people talk about a lot is the Chris character, of course, uh, uh, played by Jeremy in the first season, was replaced by. Uh... Brian Forrester in the second season. Um, mm-hmm. There's been all kinds of explanations. Some people say he was a terror on the set. Some people just said his family had to move away. What, what's the real story there? The story is that uh, Danny and Jeremy just could not get along. Uh, and uh, they would do things like they'd be standing there on the set getting ready to shoot, and the uh, the director would call for... Uh, for the roll roll camera, and just before they would shoot, Jeremy would like kick Danny in the leg or something uh, because he figured, well, by the time he f- 
finish kicking him, the director would say action, and Danny wouldn't be able to uh, reprise the uh, the kick, which of course showed that he had no idea about Danny because Danny didn't give a damn. Danny just uh, laid him out, you know, punched him. And then a big fight would start, and the mothers, who were always always on the set, they're sitting back there with their knitting, the mothers would get up and come to the set to try to solve the problems, and I would go out and have a cigarette. And uh, it would slow production down considerably whenever they fought. And so at the end of the first year, they, uh, the production people decided, the producer decided that they just couldn't afford to have both of them on the show. Another sort of famous story from the set is, uh, you know, the story about David and Danny taking the bus out for a ride. What was your uh, recollection of that incident? I have no recollection of them ever taking the bus out for a ride. They didn't even have the keys. How could they do it? You have to get the keys somehow, and the keys were in the in the prop master's uh, care. A prop master wouldn't give the, those kids the keys to a bus. Bus was terribly difficult to drive. I don't know if you realize it, but there was no power steering on that bus. It was like a World War II Army bus. And uh, even Shirley had a tough time driving it and, and turning corners and things like that because it was so hard to steer. So, no, I I don't think David and Danny ever took the, the bus out for a, a joy ride. I, didn't, I just don't know how they could have possibly have done it. But I, and I also figured that if they had ever done it, I would have heard about it, and I never heard about it. Well, leave us with a final thought on maybe what the show, you know, meant to you. Well, it meant four years of income, <laughs> certainly. It meant, uh, and a fame has never been a something that I uh, have sought, so fame is, wouldn't be one of the things. I, I met some, made some good friends and uh, had some fun and made some money. And uh, what else can I say? I don't know what else, uh, what there is to a TV show. I did Alice for seven years, and for seven years on Alice, it was, it was the same thing. I made I made some good money, made some good friends, uh, and I had some fun, you know. For more, go to www.justmyshow.com.